Warning! Tube amplifiers have lethal voltages inside them. Please do not attempt to build, test, or repair these without understanding and following all safety protocols. Hey y'all! This is going to be an instructional video about installing RCA jacks and dealing with shielded cable. And I've got a, a way that I like doing this that I think works really well. And everybody may not agree with my thought processes on this, but I wanted to share this. Originally, it was going to be part of this build series, but I think I've covered this in a couple of build videos, and I wanted to do an instructional video that was standalone so I don't have to repeat this on every build I do going forward. And so I'm going to cover this and possibly, you know, use this to link other videos to in the future. So hope you get some good information from this and you enjoy this video. Okay, the thing I want to show you guys is how I hook up the RCA jacks and the cable I use and all that kind of stuff. And I can use this two conductor shielded cable I get from the guitar store. I think it's used in wiring up pickups or something. I'm not exactly sure, but I think it works really well. Instead of using a single conductor with a shield, I use two conductors with a shield. And I'll show you why here in a moment. First thing we want to do is we want to prep the end of the cable that's going to go to the amplifier. I get about that much out. If you get a little long, it's okay because you can always trim it off a little bit if you need to. And then I use the 16 gauge thing on my stripper and kind of work around, almost kind of gnawing on it because I don't want to cut through the shielding and you get it pulled apart like that and at this point it looks pretty messy so what we want to do is kind of pull this stuff around and find the white wire because that's going to be our ground and we we're going to be combining this shield with that white wire. So pull these little strands around to the side of the pair that is the white ground wire and then twist them up. So we end up with something that looks like this. Got white, red, and the shield. What we're going to do is we're going to strip these back now and these two are going to get connected together on the amplifier end. So I'm going to strip these two back and you don't need to strip it back a lot. And then you come in here and you wrap this shielded thing around the white negative until you get something that looks like this and make sure you look real careful and make sure that none of these little whiskers are loose where they could get into the positive because all it takes is one of those little whiskers and you're going to have a short and no signal going into your amp. So once we get it looking like that, we come in and solder that together. And then tin this other side too to make sure we don't end up with loose whiskers. Now we have the end that's going to be in the amplifier all prepped like that. So the next thing we want to do is cut this thing to length. So here's our socket and we're going to be going from here across over to the RCA jack over here 
we don't want to we don't want it too loose but we don't want it too tight kind of like goalie locks right so about right there looks good we cut that off so now we do the same thing on this other end we strip off the insulation on this end we are going to cut off all of this shielding and again you know if your vision's not great especially your close-up vision you might want to get a little magnifying glass and make sure that you get all of these little whiskers cut off so we come in here And what we're doing here is the shield is only connected at one end, which is at the solid ground on the amplifier end. And I know, theoretically, we should be grounding this at the input side. But the input jacks are floating. They're not connected to ground. And so if we connect this shield of this wire to the ground on this the ground path is going to be through the interconnect so the the shielded wire picks up some noise inside the amplifier it's going to get transmitted to the negative side of this RCA jack and back through the interconnect to the source and I don't know how they've got the interconnect wired whether it's actually connected on the ground end of it and we're going to be putting the whatever noise this picks up through the return path of the signal and how the source is grounded on its end so i feel safer knowing that the shield of this input wire is solidly grounded inside the amplifier so that's probably theoretical too so okay next we need to strip these off and then we're going to tan both of these and we're doing this mainly so we don't have to worry about little stray strands of these wires going where we don't want them and I don't know if you noticed when I heated this up this insulation shrunk back a little bit so we're going to trim off just a little bit of this. We don't need quite that much. But it's okay to have this one a little longer. Sometimes you're going to want to solder these like this. So the wire comes out at 90 degrees to the, to the jack. But in this case, we want them more like this. And so we're going to bend the ends of these over at 90 degrees. So they look like that. And then we also got our Dremel tool and remove some of this, I guess, rhodium coating. So we got down to the brass. So we can make sure we get a good connection to this RCA jack. And they're going to fit in there just across there like that. So first I come in here with a nice clean tip and solder this center part and that gives us a little bit of stability in this whole little assembly just like that and check for that side you can see we got a nice solder joint there so the next thing we want to do is we want to fill up this little groove right here with solder and then put this wire in there and then we have a little cup of water here to dip it in after we have heated it up to cool it off so we don't have to worry about it melting the plastic insulator. So let's see if we can do this and keep this on camera so you can see this process. And you want to make sure you get this terminal hot enough for the solders melting into the metal and not just sitting on top of it like this little ball right there is just sitting on top of the metal
There we go. And so the last little piece is we want to hold that wire like that and come in here and heat this up and solder that wire onto the body of the RCA jack and then dip it in the water. And then when we're done, it looks like that. And again, on this end, the shield is not connected to anything. It's floating. So now we're ready to solder this thing into the amplifier. We've already done this side. So now we're going to do this side over here. Now, what I like doing is on these big terminals like we're using, go ahead and heat them up and kind of solder and drag the solder so that it's filled up the whole little window of the terminal. And if you kind of hold the iron sideways as you're doing this, you can kind of wipe it across and it'll fill it up. It's kind of like, if you remember a bubble wand, getting the soapy water across the whole of the wand, you're basically kind of doing the same thing here. And then I let that cool off just a little bit so that when we try to heat it back up, it doesn't, the solder doesn't all just flow off of that hole with gravity working against us. So now we know this jack is going to go about like this and probably going to run it underneath like this and we got the wires a little long but that's fine so now we need to hook across these terminals right here so the first one we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the ground first on this one we come in here heat that up Just like that. And then you can kind of rotate this positive one over. And you don't want to hold the heat on here too long. You want just enough heat to melt to melt that solder and then get out. Just like that. And now we have the the ground and the positive connected to these two terminals. And remember, this terminal goes down to the ground that comes across to our star ground point, which is a good reason to have this shield grounded here, because we know this is a really good ground, because it's got a 18-gauge solid core wire that's going over to the chassis in the star ground point. And then this terminal here goes down to the coupling capacitor going to the grid. So then at this point, we just put our insulating washers on the RCA jack, rotate it where the, the wire looks like it's in a nice place, and bolt this guy down, and we're finished with our RCA jacks. So we hold that with one finger, make sure that little kind of shouldered washer is centered in the hole. I put it on the inside, and then snug this down, and then I come back with some pliers or something across these little uh, notches in this nut and tighten that up. Well, again, I hope you enjoyed this instructional video about how to install RCA jacks. And if you found this informational and enjoyed the video, please sub the channel, like the video, and I'll see you soon for more audio fun. Have a great day.